Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we're going to talk about a mode in the Mac OS X operating system that's called Safe Boot or sometimes referred to as Safe Mode. Uh, safe Mode, the term Safe Mode comes more from the uh, Windows part of the operating system but um, whatever Safe Boot, Safe Mode you want uh, you can actually start your computer in Safe Mode if for example, your Mac doesn't want to start up anymore, or you're trying to start your user account and it doesn't work well, or maybe it just hangs or slow and you're not really sure why, uh, you can actually boot your Mac into safe mode and let it do, actually it will perform a series of little tests. And it will also prevent some of the software from actually loading automatically so if you want to boot into your safe mode into your Mac the way to do it is actually to uh, restart your computer or if it's already stopped you will uh, just press the power button immediately after the tone press the shift key so immediately after this tone you have to press the shift key uh, it doesn't matter if it's the left or right shift key but it has to be done after the tone. If you don't do it after the tone, it's not going to work. After you've done it with the tone, what you should see is, of course, the famous little Apple logo appear on your screen. And at the bottom, you should see a little progress bar that's going to show up that you shouldn't see normally. So what it does when it's in safe mode, it forces a check of the start of volume, first of all. So if any of the problems are caused by a problem on your hard drive, then it's going to, of course, perform a check here. So it's going to be able to uh, take care of that problem. And uh, just like uh, the first aid feature of the disk utility, um, while it's doing that little progress bar at the bottom, it's actually checking the volume. And your computer will take a little longer to load. It also loads only the required kernel extensions. It disables all funds installed by the user. It moves fund caches to the trash and are stored in library cache. And uh, it disables all startup items and login items in 10.4 uh, or later. Um, if you have a very really old Mac on 10.3.9 or earlier, Safe Mode opens only Apple installed startup items. So while you wait for your computer to start up, one thing that is going to happen is that you'll have your regular login screen appear after it finally boots up. But you will see a little different. Um, OS 10 system. Um, since it doesn't boot up and start up a lot of the internal components of your computer, one of the things that you'll see is that the uh, top bar where you have your usual Apple logo and your different extensions are not going to show up. Uh, when you're in your login screen on the upper right you have a little red safe boot that is written there next to the uh, battery and Wi-Fi logo. And basically this is the really the most basic of mods in Mac OS X. So this is how you really boot into safe mode. After it boots up, it's going to show you the dock, it's going to show you your different files and folders, but you'll notice that it doesn't show up at the top. The regular bar will not always be there. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. And since you're in safe mode, what's going to happen is that your computer is booting up now in a different way. It's not going to work like it usually does, and it is going to have lots of features that are not going to work in Mac. But it enables you to, uh, for example, use the disk utility or the terminal if you need to issue some commands. It will uh, help you if you want to remove a piece of software. Uh, this is how you do it. Chances are, if your computer doesn't boot up well, it 
probably will in safe boot mode. So this is something to try for. And then you do whatever operations you need to do to put back your computer at a normal pace. If it's because something really went wrong, what's nice is that now you can actually use safe mode, for example, to import um, a time machine that you um, might have as a backup and rewrite your user account with that time machine backup. So whatever you want to do, uh, there's a good chance that safe boot mode will actually work. And once it's done, well, all you have to do if you want to restart your computer, simply restart it like normal by restarting. And your computer afterwards, if you don't touch anything, will actually start and boot mode or safe boot normally. So this was a quick video show you how to go back into safe boot mode in the Mac OS X operating system. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Mac OS X or Windows that you would like to see, even iOS. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online. If you have any um, problems with your computer, try to detail the problem uh, the most possible way. The more details we have, the better we have an idea of what might be going bad or wrong on your computer. And by uh, doing so, we'll try to make a video to help you and you'll be helping others. And uh, hopefully you enjoy your channel and you'll come back to the Easy Computer Fixes channel. Bye-bye.